What's up guys? Captain Steven coming at you. I'm a little wore out. We got the axle changed on the trailer. We got a brand new axle. We're getting all packed up for Florida. It's Saturday. We're going to hit the road uh, probably super early in the morning, like 12 or 1 a.m. And uh, get down to Steenhatchee and start practice tomorrow. So we are finishing up, getting our tackle ready, getting the boat ready. We'll be ready to rock. We got all kind of baits right here. We got to put some treble hooks on those. And then our big order, we got spoons and all kind of all kind of stuff in there. Look at these skitter walks I got. Little gold chrome bag, little orange on the belly. So, all right. We're going to keep packing. We're going to hit the sack for a little bit, take a little nap, and uh, onward. Good morning. It's uh, 1235 in the morning. Sunday morning, we're getting some coffee made and we're about to hit the road. <laughs> Well, day one practice, we got in, or I mean, I left my house this morning at one. I'm a little loopy. <laughs> um, yeah, caught some fish. Just came out, put the troll motor down and started fishing, doing a lot of idling today because there's rocks everywhere. <laughs> and I want to lose a lower unit right now. So caught, caught one trout, caught a bunch of little rat reds. So uh, I guess you can call me the uh, exterminator. <laughs> uh, I've got to find some slot fish. So I stay close to the landing today and tomorrow. I'm going to make some moves, I think. So just trying to get a little familiar with the area, get comfortable. Just idle around a lot. Got my iPad running here with, uh, with the charts. And then I got my depth finder only for the depth. So. That's what we're rolling with. We'll see what happens. I'm tired. I'm gonna keep grinding. It looks like we got some storms building over there. We got a west wind. I'm not sure how the weather works here. Um, so I don't know what those storms are gonna do. So I don't wanna go too far away and get caught out here in the Gulf. So, all right, peace. What's up guys? Day one of practice and we are idling. We are in three and a half feet of water and there is limestone rock everywhere. It's really windy today. You can see we got some white caps out here in the Gulf of Mexico. But yeah, we are, uh, we got 10, nah, maybe not. We got like six or seven miles to idle. And hopefully we're gonna find some good fish. I got in yesterday. Um, you know, it's super late. You know, I left super early in the morning, so I was wiped out. So we only fished a couple hours yesterday, but today we're gonna spend the full day out here learning and trying to figure out these fish and find the right ones. So we'll uh, bring you along.
That's cool. Florida flounder. Tiny little guy, but I'll take it. On the goby. Good morning. It is uh, day three or four of practice. It's Wednesday. Uh, we had a big storm yesterday afternoon. Yesterday I got to fish with a good friend of mine. Um, so that was super fun and cool. And uh, we're getting started bright and early today. We've got a lot of work to do. I have not caught anywhere close to the right size fish that I need for this tournament. So anyway, we're gonna go to a totally, completely different area today and start fresh and uh, see if we can get something, start, you know, start putting something together. We got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we get, this is our, we got three days counting today left to figure this out, so. That's that, guys. Beautiful morning out here in Steen Hatchie. Let's get after it. Good morning. It's Thursday. We got. Two days left to practice today and tomorrow. Look at that. Oh man, gorgeous. So uh, we found a little something something yesterday, so we're gonna see if we can build on it. We got some nasty weather on tournament day, it looks like, so. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, it's gonna be nuts. Gonna be nuts. This might be the last uh, last tournament the John yacht. <laughs> so, all right, peace, wish me luck. Nah, pray for me. Rise and shine. Good morning. It is uh, day five or six. It's our last day of practice. Pops is finally here. There he is working on top water. We're we're pretty. We've got some spots. Um, started out the day with a six pounder on top water. So that's it. We're not fishing that area anymore. So we're trying to cover some new water. And uh, yeah, gonna be a great day, guys. Gonna try to find some new areas too today and and uh, yeah, see what happens. Did he miss it? Whole school right there, Shamo. Well, it is a nasty day for a tournament, but it wouldn't be a tournament without bad weather. So we are going, I've got some potholes that I marked. Um, so we're going to get set up on the
All right, guys, we've got two fish for eight pounds. We've already had one full. We got rid of a three pounder for this tournament. It's a two fish limit. Dad is throwing the kicker crab on an ice strike. Was that a hit? And I'm throwing the jackhammer stealth blade kicker crab. And we're just kind of drifting this point. Get him. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. Good fish right there on the jackhammer kicker crab. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we finished up in 19th place, 11 pounds, 0 0.68. 11.68, uh, great tournament. What was the weather like? Oh boy, it was blowing 25 to 30 knots. This was the worst weather we've been in. Uh, even the sea fog came in, you couldn't see past over 100 yards anywhere around you, two to three foot seas. Uh, it, was, it was a challenge. Yeah. It was definitely a challenge, but guess what? We learned a lot from it. I'd do it again. How was the spray on the way out? <laughs> oh, well, my uh, my son here, he, he encouraged me to go out and get a new rain jacket and a bib system. And guess what? <laughs> Glad I listened to him because I got wet on the way out, got wet pretty much throughout the entire day and got wet on the way in. But hey, it was a great uh, rain jacket set that I had, so it kept me dry. So the baits that we were using, we did all of our damage on the Z-Man Kicker Crabs. Oh, yeah. On the quarter ounce Texas side jig head with the rattle. The new rattlesnaker from Z-Man. We inserted that into the kicker crab, and it was awesome. Hey, what the Z-Man kicker crab? We threw everything, but guess what? We started throwing a kicker crab. Boy, did they! We got not. We didn't get kicked, but we kicked them. But anyways, yeah, we started catching a lot of fish. So, you know, shout out to Z-Man for the kicker crab. That that's the only bait they were hitting yesterday, and it went in all those every uh, single fish. Yeah, yep, every single fish. We what caught. were we doing? We were adding something every single cast. Ooh, <laughs> that's a it. tournament secret. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to tell you that one, but uh, we will. We whatever will we were doing, no worries. It was legal. <laughs> okay, it was legal. But you know, we got to keep up. We got to hold a couple secrets back. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll tell now, you. He's going to go ahead and tell. I got it. He's so, going to spill the beans. So, spill the beans. Every cast we would apply a new dose of Procure, yep. either mullet or blue crab, to the kicker crab, and that helped us get bites. Oh yeah. The yeah. boat, we were fishing a windblown shore, um, a windblown bank, the current and wind were going together up onto an oyster bar, and that's where we caught all of our fish. We sat there for three and a half hours in one spot, which I've personally never fished one spot that long before, but it was effective, and I'd oh, say yeah. we caught a fish every 15 to 20 minutes. Yep. Over yep. and over and over, just keep making that same cast, doing a drift. And how are you working the crab? Because you figured out the pattern with the kicker crab. Yeah, I mean, at first we were working it, you know, you always got to work it slow because you want to be on the bottom, but we're working it probably medium, nice and easy. But then after that, we had to try some different, you know, uh, retrieves. So we'd reel it in two or three turns and then stop, pause. As you know, let it drop down to the bottom, reel it in two or three pauses more, or two or three uh, you know turns more, let it drop back to the bottom, and we started getting hits then. So you definitely got to try uh, different you're, retrieves, different techniques. You were and, casting across the wind, 
Oh yeah. Or across the current, and then you're. Oh yeah, yeah. Trip. So we're kind of actually treating it. Good oh. point. I remember you're that. You're treating it like live treating bait. Treating it like were, live bait. You told me yeah. that. Yeah. So we're treating it like live bait. We're throwing into the current. Let the current take it back. And and actually, when we started getting our first uh, couple of fish, we were just letting the current take it back, right back to the strike point, to the strike zone. So where the fish were holding. So. Seeing Hatchy was absolutely incredible. What an epic fishery. I love that place. It was so hard to leave. I can't wait to go back. We're going to make a trip, just a fun trip up there eventually. Um, we were catching, in practice, we were catching tailing redfish. We saw over 100 oh, yeah. in practice. Yep, yep. the day before. Day. Oh. But the weather changed. On top water. We were oh, yeah, catching yeah, yeah. tailing redfish on Rapala skitter walks. Yep. But then, Unbelievable. Uh, the Unbelievable. weather change came in that night and turned, you know, turned everything upside down but you gotta that's how you learn you gotta be on your game you gotta be looking at the weather the tides the water conditions the water temperature uh and then you gotta be you know everything it comes down to every little detail what bait you're using how you retrieve how you cast how you position the boat i mean all that counts so definitely uh every, every tournament you learn some more you learn a little bit more well we got georgetown in a couple weeks oh yeah right in our home water so yep we're going to go ahead and start getting ready for that. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. We'll catch you next week. Yep. I'm going away, trust me. <laughs> That's goofy. No, it, it don't it, matter. But you People look sharp. Like, so yeah. you got your silver chain. Right. You, need right. a, you need a little gold chain with a pirate on it. Yeah, I need a, I need an earring with a hook in it.